Oh, she's the one we've been looking for all day. <laughs> This is not just open water. This is the first day of open water on my home river for this season. Uh, I already know for a fact it's gonna be really slow fishing. We still have about two degrees in the water. Uh, and this day will be all about finding those big schools of whitefish and where they're currently standing. The most important thing of today is that I wanna give you a glance of how I search for big pikes in early spring fishing in a Swedish river. come to uh, first stop of today and I will go uh, through some basics of uh, my river fishing. The first uh, thing I do when I come to a new river I pre-scan the area at home. Uh, I use Google Maps which is a great tool to use so you will you will get the overview of uh, the area you are supposed to fish. Uh, when you come out on the water you have to examine those areas. Uh, a common and basic thing in river fishing is backwaters. Uh, backwaters is uh, the water that the current are turning around and creates a lot of calmer water uh, which makes the bait fish uh, assembles there and they will have the strength to rest. And if you find a backwater that holds bait fish, uh, I, in many cases I will say that you will find big predators just nearby. So backwaters is uh, the first step of your success to river fishing. I brought some of my favorite uh, lures with me today. I will show you. Uh, of course, you will. You're gonna find your own favorite and experiment around, but I will show you what I use. And I have two tail baits with me today. Uh, the first one out is the Rip Curly Tail from Storm. This is a bait I use when I want to fish extremely slow. In early spring or late autumn, this is my, my lure to go. I can use it with the rip system so I can weight it down and fish those really deep holes in the river. The second tail bait is a new, is a new bait for this year. It's a smoking hot. This is the Otis from Rapala. The Otis is the big brother of x Pedo. And with this wide and broad tail and the belly sinking movement as it sinks vertical, I'm super excited to use this amongst the river pikes. I, I know it will deliver. Sometimes even in cold condition, I want to step up my fishing and fish a, a, a bit faster. I will go for the rip T-bone shad. This is the new lure from, from last year from store. And it's a super versatile lure. Uh, I use it a lot when I compete in pike competitions around in Sweden. You can use it with a with the rip system, with a bowl head, touch with a stinger. It has a, a ripped body so it moved a lot of water, good amount of vibrations. You can even put in some rattle inside of the tail of it. Uh, I think that the biggest Swedish pike actually caught on this one is over 15 kilos so it's a really really good lure. Uh, the last one out is uh, the x Rapido. Also a, a super versatile lure. Uh, I use it when I, I want to speed fish those shallow bays uh, or uh, even when I fish it pelagical. It has a good amount of rattle inside of it so in cold water or really s when the fishing are really slow it can really trigger, trigger the predators to get a really aggressive bite. So, X Rapido. So we 
we've been fishing for a couple of hours now and I'm gonna explain the next step in my river fishing so what if what if the backwater doesn't work uh, you have to rethink your strategy and uh, I always look for more shallow base in the river system uh, and then I'm using a method that I would like to call like a plateau stair system uh, which means I break down the area around the shallow base and I'm starting to fish those stairs systematically one by one the first stair will be uh, the deepest part outside of the bay and the last stair will be the, the most shallow part inside of the bay uh, this method can take a lot of time and good amount of of patience so but it can be really effective to to fish each and every step on the stair uh, I would say in the really early spring and in this cold condition as, as we have now you should um, put a little more time on the other steps because uh, I don't think the big the big predators has uh, began to swim into the spawning areas yet so that's the that's the next step in your river fishing really fat one check this out Jesus it was a really good take I thought it was much bigger than it was <laughs> oh a real really well ho well hooked also We're fishing on, on a drop off to 12 meter with a lot of bait fish. First pike of 2019. It can only grow bigger from here. So we are we're moving location a bit higher upstream in the river. So the third step, uh, I would like to say that we have tried out the backwaters now. Uh, we have tried to see the shallow base and the area inside and outside the bay uh, and the third one is uh, uh, try to look, locate struct, uh, different structures and buildings if you have that in a, in a river it can be places where you have a turbine or it could be places where you have a power plant usually there will be uh, much warmer water there and it assembles a lot of bait fish so that's a tip it, it could be really 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 good place to, to try to fish out so we had we had a minor minor accident and just now we were we were fishing an area with a with a drop off down to 10 meter and I was uh, casting with the X-ray boaters and I felt I felt a tiny hit so but no more so I switched to a T-bone with a ball head and really really slow jigging the bottom really really slow and I actually caught a really nice pike but as I said, we had a minor accident with some hooks inside the fingers and blood and it was really chaos. So we decided to put her in the lie well, clean up the blood, put a bandage on and we will see if, if she's any eager to, to show us herself. We have prepared, prepared some measuring and, and weight and scaling. She's a real beauty. Oh, she's been resting a while, so I, I think she's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> it's a feisty one. Oh, so this is a really good way to, if you have a lie well in your boat, just, just let her rest in a lie well or if you don't you, you can just use your net to let her rest pick her up and you will not harm her at all so it's zero let's see eight point 84 Let's take a quick a 
quick measurement on her. Not a long fish, it's 97. But she's really fat, 97 centimeter and over over eight kilo. Jesus, on a T-bone. This is a really nice one. one we've been looking for all day <laughs> it's not that many hours left of fishing and it's been really slow but when it comes a fish like that it, it's totally worth it so I'm exhausted it's been a great first day and I cannot say anything else usually days like this could go hours or days between a really good pike but uh, I hope you have learned something from this and uh, take something with you next time you will go out on the water and I wish you the best of luck so I'm really happy so one or two hour more maybe and we will wrap things together and go home